Hey everybody, Scalcrafty here. Look at this, huh? First snow of the season. How nice is that, huh? Um, this video is for my friends overseas and things like that who never got a chance to see the kind of stores we have here in it. I was inspired by a friend of mine, Bob, in Australia, who sent me some pictures of how expensive channel lock tools are over there. So hopefully you enjoy this and let's get to it. Okay, our journey today starts in Brookfield, Connecticut, a place called Harbor Freight Tools. It all starts with a catalog that's mailed to your house, and upon entering the store, now it was 32 degrees out and very windy, so I didn't want to do uh, any kind of filming out there, and I have to do a voiceover because of the music playing in the background. Uh, the first thing you notice when you go into the store, besides the abundance of awesome tools that they sell, is how bright and clean and well organized the store is and uh, this is always this is every harbor freight you go to that's the way it is and that's why I really do love this store because um, forget about what they sell it's just the store is so well run and you can see they they have a wide variety of samples on the floor that you could see you could touch you could fool around with see where the quality is I I really enjoy the store every time I go here. And one thing about Harbor Freight, it does have a unique smell from all the rubber that's curing, I guess, and uh, from, from overseas. Now, most of their products are imported, and they make no qualms about that. They're not trying to compete with anybody. This is the business that they run. And if you look around, they have a wide variety of products throughout the store. And... Um, and the, the fact that you can feel and touch and see and, you know, and, and uh, play with these products before you buy them, that makes it all the better, you know. Um, a lot of times we have to buy things through mail order and whatnot. This is a nice place to go to, uh, to look at something before you buy it. Um, I've been going to Harbor Freight for I can, ever since I can remember. The store was opened in 1977 as a small salvage place in California. But they have like over 800 stores now. And uh, I think they employ like 17,000 employees. Um, it's a really a, it's a wonderful store. And it's again, there's uh, throughout the United States. Uh, so, But you don't really see them overseas. And that's why I wanted to make this video to see. So some of you guys from... Other parts of the world can see this store that we take for granted because, uh, you know, over here being around so much. And uh, a lot of times they're kind of made fun of because they do deal with a lot of imported goods, you know. And they, but, you know, there is a place for imported goods, you know. I, I love stuff made here, I love quality stuff, but for the most part, a lot of times when you're setting up a shop or whatever you can't afford to buy top quality all the top quality tools so sometimes you have to buy a, you know a, a, a what they call a homeowner um a grade you know not a professional grade and and that's where you come into a uh, harbor freight you know or if you happen to do in a job if you you know professionals you're not going to see professional mechanics shopping here but um they have such a wide variety of great different objects and, and tools and, and supplies and sandpapers and things like that, you know, things that you wouldn't, it's very difficult to get other places. And there are some places that my Harbor Freight is my go-to place. So I do really enjoy the store and look forward every time I come here. And, and this store is, like I said, it's always spotless. Everyone I've ever went to is spotless. Now, one thing I'd like to point out about uh, some of the tool quality here, um, Harbor Freight imports from all over the world, and uh, see, like these, uh, for example, these ratchets, some of them are from Taiwan, really good quality, and then they have uh, Chinese uh, models that, you know, aren't as good quality, but some of that quality, you know, you, if you look through, you have to... You have to be very leery when you're looking at certain tools because uh, some are real high quality and some not so much. They, they have their own line of pliers now that they're making, the Doyle, and uh, they're very high quality. Uh, they, they, and, you know, for the price, uh, you can't beat them. And uh, much better than the Chinese uh, quality that they were carrying beforehand. That's the only stuff they used to have. So it's nice that uh, you, you do have that choice in there, and there are so many to choose from. And again, if you're just starting off a shop and you, you don't know if you're going to like a certain tool or need a certain tool, that's the time when you, you pick up one of the inexpensive ones and see. That's what I used to do. I always used to buy an inexpensive tool, 
and uh, see if I used it or not. I mean, I bought a, uh, a random orbital sander, uh, one of those uh, drum sanders that oscillate, and I never use the thing. So, <laughs> you know, there's no sense in spending big money on a tool that you very rarely use. But um, uh, you could see here they have, you know, safety equipment, gloves, things like that. It's just a tremendous store for any kind of products you're looking for. This is a, my go-to place when I pick up my uh, my nitrate gloves, or I like the vinyl gloves now for some reason. They're uh, I'm I'm finding them very easy to use, and and especially for painting and things like that. But they also, what's another nice thing about Harbor Freight is they carry a lot of name brand tools also uh, at a discounted price. Like you can see here, the chemicals and and WD-40s and uh, CRC products. So. That's a nice thing that you can get, you know, name brand products there too, not just uh, products that you don't know where they came from. Um, a lot of times when I'm, I'm coming here, I'll uh, have a list of things that I want to buy, but the catalog always kind of draws you in because they give you free stuff and they also have a 20% coupon a lot of times. Now, one thing like, for example, this belt sand, if you bought that, that's 20% off that you can get off of that with the coupon. So, you know, that's that's a really nice thing. And one thing, Harbor Freight never tries to rip you off. And uh, and I'll tell you why that is. If, if you go there with a 20% coupon, the computer automatically takes off the highest product that, that you bought. So, in other words, if you bought something for... A hundred dollars, uh, that'll take it off that, you don't have to say, I want this for this product. You know, it'll take it off the highest product uh, amount you bought. So I, I do, you know, like the fact that they're not trying to rip you off and they got one of the best warranties you can believe. Uh, uh, one of the things, I bought a drill from them, a battery drill. And a year later, they sent me a notice in the mail that said, uh, there was a problem with the recharger or something of the, of the drill, bring it in. And we'll fix, you know, so I brought it in. They gave me a brand new, they said, go take a brand new one. You know, and I've had it for over a year. Used the thing up and it was $15. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you you know, it's that's what keeps me coming back to a place like this. I love when uh, a company takes care of their customers, you know, when they put everything in the computer, with everything you buy. So there's no question of, do you have the receipt? Do you have this? You know, as soon as you buy it, it's logged in under your name. And, uh, and that's where it is. They have these cases now they're making that are like Pelican cases you just saw there. And uh, they're really nice, you know, and you can see how much the regular ones, the Pelicans cost. But these are uh, high quality, probably made in similar factories. But um, always amazing to me the amount of different products and uh, types they have. But you can really come in here and, and set up your shop for a little amount of money and uh, that's what makes me happy. Well, here you can see the amount of screwdrivers they have. Uh, gotta admit, they do have a selection. Any type of color or any type of... Uh, I had to show those green ones because Doug and I both like the green screwdrivers and uh, you know, I always look at them translucent ones when I come here, but I, one thing, the first thing I look at a lot of times is country of origin, you know. If you can find Taiwan made stuff, that's that's real good quality. But some of the Chinese stuff is uh, still not up to snuff, you know. Here's a uh, nice angle grind, $15. I mean, these things, they do work. I have a couple of them. And uh, this one here, the only difference is it has the side switch, but I like the paddle switch better. But they're great. And uh, if you're looking for a brass hammer, wonder where this one's made. Well, I can see. <laughs> um, these dead blow hammers, they really hold up good. I have a few of these. And, uh, you know, uh, you can beat on these all day long. It seems like they never wear out. But uh, that's a good, another good thing, like I was saying, about their lifetime warranty. Um, their warranty, they, they will replace the item. They don't uh, bicker about it. And that's a problem with a lot of tool places today, you know, trying to re warranty your stuff. I got to send, I got to spend $7 to mail it back to the company and then wait a month or so before they have to decide. And, you know, uh, here you just bring it into any store and they tell you to go take another one. And uh, that's, that's a nice thing. And they don't look at you funny either, I guess. <laughs> But then again, I'm not bringing in a new uh, broken tool every week. They have a new Bauer line. You see this uh, Bauer 
that's supposed to be a high, very high quality uh, line for like hammer drills and electronic products. It's supposed to be very good. They're very high rated by people online. I picked up, believe it or not, a hand truck here and uh, years ago. Works great. And they also have lots of tires and casters. If you want to make a rolling workbench or something, this is where you come for casters. And then they have that whole line of, and this is again, you can touch and feel and take them out. Uh, I love the part about that. You know, you could, when you can touch a tool and feel a tool, you know whether or not it's going to hold up. You can touch the switch and you can tell if it's a cheap switch. But uh, that's what I like about this. Now, a lot of people are asking me, uh, where do I get some of my supplies for buffing and wire wheels and whatnot. This is where I, this is my go-to place for that. At the, uh, usually to the right of their electronic tools and, and sanders and things like that. They have the supplies, the drill bits. And um, a lot of times these are on sale. And I, believe it or not, these titanium drill bits that you'll see here on the bottom in the yellow right there. Uh, those things last. I mean, I never have a problem with those. And uh, they, they last, especially if you don't overheat them. Step drills, I did a video on those. Those things are fantastic. Um, a lot of times you might need a hammer drill or something for a job. And this is the place to go because you, you know how expensive they are. But here are the wire brushes. And you can see the different types, the different, uh, they even have the larger ones in the boxes below. Uh, well, I had to laugh about the brass one here because uh, my brass brush is magnetic. <laughs> I don't know. I never knew brass was magnetic before, so uh, I thought that was funny. But a lot of 4-inch angle grinder accessories here and bandsaw blades and things like that. A lot of people have, have used the, the bandsaw. They make a metal bandsaw here, the Harbor Freight, that's uh, notorious throughout the Internet as being a great deal. Here's something interesting, a 36-inch pipe wrench. You know, I don't know how often you come across that, but the aluminum ones are nice. I've always been looking for an aluminum one. Here's a funny thing. Oh, look, it looks like USA. How can you beat a USA made aluminum pipe wrench? Uh, oh, okay, I see how you can beat it. <laughs> that's where you have to be a little leery, you know? Sometimes they try and trick you. But that's not Harbor Freight. That's okay. Maybe a dog bone wrench. I don't. Oh, I got a couple of those. Um, I think they're, uh, they're open end wrenches here. Again, you know. Here's where you, you got to be careful because uh, the tolerances, you know, with the Chinese compared to the Taiwanese are very different. So uh, you won't have a problem too much with the comp, the box end wrenches, but with the open end wrenches, you know, you might measure, a, they might be off by a, a 16th or a 32nd or something, which is enough to make the wrench round off the nut. Here's a big 24-inch uh, crescent wrench for $28. And again... Lifetime warranty if you went to see what that wrench cost by a, you know, a USA brand that's going to be four times that price, you know. Um, I always, these paintbrushes are great because uh, for a dollar, who cleans a paintbrush anymore? Yeah, I, uh, one thing I have to say is I've used a lot of their paintbrushes and they, they work great, but... Um, one thing, they're bench brushes, uh, really. You can't beat that for a bench brush. A lot of people don't have them, but for swiping sawdust and things like that off your uh, off your workbench, these here. I mean, how could you beat that for uh, for the money, right? For $1.99, they're, they're a real nice quality bench brush. Um, their cabinets, you know, I used to have old Sears cabinets. They were horrible. Look at these workbenches. I mean, the price of these workbenches, there's no excuse not to have a workbench down your basement. I mean, here for $100, you can have a workbench with pegboard behind it and a, a light on top. But uh, anyway, that's just an idea of what this store has. And not only that, they give uh, this is what I got for free when I left. They gave me a screwdriver and some batteries for free. This is what I was talking about, Bob, was at what he paid, you know, what they charge for channel locks down in Australia. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much. Take care. Have a nice day.